Now, productivity is essential for small businesses to thrive in Nigeria's rapidly evolving business landscape. As a small business owner, it is crucial to have a grasp of productivity tips tailored for the Nigerian market. Improving productivity can significantly impact the growth and sustainability of your business, whether you are navigating the complexities of the local market, limited access to capital, or juggling multiple responsibilities. Working smarter, not just harder, is key to boosting productivity. By optimizing your operations, managing your time more effectively, and implementing strategic approaches, you can enhance the efficiency of your business and walk towards your goals more effectively. In today's discussion, we will explore practical productivity tips for small business owners in Nigeria. These strategies will help you streamline your processes and enhance the overall performance of your business. Welcome to Business Insights on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonia. Setting up a productive workplace is essential for the growth of your business. A positive, well-organized space can boost morale, make more or make people more productive and increase total performance. To help small business owners in Nigeria make the most uh, work, or make the best in their work setting, my guests will be sharing on that and salient issues. Abidemi Adija Adeyemo, an alumna of the Lagos State University of Ojo with a degree in history and international studies has emerged as a formidable figure in the realm of productivity and business efficiency. Her journey from an administrative officer at the Oshodi Sola local government to a celebrated entrepreneur is a testament to her exceptional skills and unwavering dedication to enhancing productivity across various sectors. She is a fellow of the Institute of Productivity and Business Innovation Management IPBIM. Abidemi's career is marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence in productivity. Her innovative approaches, coupled with her extensive knowledge and experience, have positioned her as a leading figure in her field. The journey from a local government administrator to a globally recognized productivity expert showcases her extraordinary abilities and dedication. Many thanks for joining me, Abidemi, on Business Insights. Thank you. Good morning. Ah, it is a pleasure to have you, Abidemi. Uh, you know, in our pre chat, we we're just talking about um, you know the issues of um, fuel, fuel price highs, and how yes. you know the business environment is not really conducive for entrepreneurs and small businesses. But let's talk about um, productivity right now and um, some of the challenges. In your opinion, um, what are the primary um, obstacles? Um, Nigeria's um, SMEs uh, face in achieving higher productivity. Thank you. See, in Nigeria, business owners are really facing difficulties, not only primary, secondary, every other problems. Number one is finances. They don't have enough finance to, to um, help their business. Mm. A lot of them, they started maybe like six, seven years ago, then they had enough capital. But in the last one year, mm. it has really, really affected their business. Mm. Coupled with um, far, this light, um, electricity, oh. mm. bad road, uh, poor technology, stiff competitive markets. Mm. They, they don't have enough um, finance to, to tackle with the bigger companies. Mm. You know, they are SMEs, small, mm. medium sized enterprise. So yes. they are just trying to strive. So a lot of them are really affecting, mm. affected with these finances, mm. bad road, um, economy, um, these dollar rates. Mm. Forex. Forex. Mm. Dollar, even dollar rates to source for their materials. Mm. A lot of them input, um, import mm. their products. So dollar rate is really affecting them. Mm. So a lot of, most like three of my clients, they are planning on shutting down mm. their businesses. That's so sad. So it's really, really sad in this. Uh, okay, so how do we compare, you know, what SMEs uh, in Nigeria go through vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, other um, developed countries? Okay. And of course, um, what strategies uh, uh, would you suggest to overcome some of these challenges? Thank you. We cannot compare Nigeria with other developed countries mm. in a lot of ways. If you go to any developed country, they have good roads. Mm. If you don't have a good road, how will you be productive? You're going to office in the morning or your shop anywhere. 
you, you've been in the traffic maybe like two hours. When you get to the office, you'll be so tired. There is no way you'll be productive. Yeah. Um, light, you don't have, you, you pay for light, we don't get it. Electricity, we are not getting it. Fuel is so, so high. But in other countries, they have all these things that they are food um, and they are tip of. They can call. Yeah. Yes, so they can get it whenever they need it. Then this technology, we have it in Nigeria, but there are a lot of apps that mm. help them abroad that we cannot download here. Yeah. There are some apps that you can use in advertising your um, business online. Mm. Mm. But if you get there, you want to download it. If you are from Nigeria, you will not be able to download Which it. Which is limited to um, so, Nigeria. Yes, so mm. we, you can't download it. Mm. So things like that mm. is really affecting Nigeria, but it's quite, quite um, okay in other developed countries, which yeah. we don't have it here. Okay, let's talk about the challenge of um, finance. You know, I know there's a whole lot of, um, you know, impact the business environment has, um, you know, brought on um, the uh, small businesses. And one of them is um, access to capital, access to finance. And I know it also, in a way, affects um, productivity. So let's talk about um, the relationship between um, access to financing, um, project for SMEs and their productivity, as well as um, uh, maybe possible solutions that you can mm -hmm. prefer to bridge this funding gap. Yes. And number one is the government. They are trying, I always say this, the government are trying, mm. but the funds that they are releasing are not getting to the end users. Why not? Well, Why is it not getting to the end users? The people that, the intermediaries, mm. they are not delivering what they are supposed to okay. do. They're doing some sort of short circuiting. Exactly. Maybe mm. they will, the government might um, give like maybe like 20 or 30 billion naira. Mm. The business owner might just get maybe like 10. Mm. So who gets the 20? We don't know. Who mm. do we ask? Mm. So I will, I will suggest and advise the government as an expert, if they want to do that, they should, maybe they should get a financial institution. Mm. They should create that so that any business owners that is registered mm. with CAC can go there with their CAC certificates. They will have a bank account with them. So mm. they will be able to give in the money directly to okay. them. Let me even put in there, since you're talking about um, financing and um, account and institutions. But I thought over time we had... Um, uh, banks for that we have um, the bank of industry uh, who which or which is supposed to mm. you know support um, businesses and uh, you know even small and um, medium businesses and also the microfinance bank so are you saying that um, this money should be channeled through the microfinance banks or channeled through the BOI or how exactly yes those ones they, they are doing their best but they they are the collateral they are asking for is quite huge okay so a lot of the small small business owners don't have it mm -hmm. they will ask for collateral they will ask for um, loan history mm -hmm. which they don't have yeah so but if the government can create their own maybe even if they are going to get um, collateral or loan interest it will mm. it will be very minimal, minimal. yes. Mm. So they can survive with it. Okay. Okay. So um, loans. You know, speaking of loans, I I know there has been challenges and uh, you know people trying to get financing not just for business but also for household um, you know use and um, there have been proliferation of um, loans and you talked about technology and there are loan apps or uh, which claim you know to help businesses and them you know. Since the banks would uh, require collateral and all that, most people fall victims to this um, uh, bank um, or loan online app. loan apps uh, because uh, they need financing. At the end of the day, you know the the processes are shorter. You know the requirements are not much or even nothing at all. But at the end of the day, you get these loans, and yet we we'll still talk about um, this issue of not being able to pay back because of them. Um, high charges this, so where do we draw the line the interest really? is killing mm. the interest it's, it's, I not, advisable to it's not i will not advise any of my clients to go for this um loan hubs mm. they are not they are not advisable to to go and mm. collect money from them even if they not pay they will start publishing their mm -hmm. pictures yeah. they are threatening them with different kind of things so mm. i i have never even advised any of my clients to go for that. Mm. If the government is not forthcoming, I will advise them to go for collaborations. Mm. They can collaborate, look for investors to invest in their business. Okay. There are people that have this money, mm. as you are saying, my brother. 
in this country. They have the money. They don't. Some of them don't even know what to That's venture into. Yeah. So if you have your business idea, yeah. why not map it out? Get an investor. You guys to agree on certain percentage. And terms, yes. Terms. So you get a legal practitioner to sign it for you. Then you are good to go. Okay. Uh, uh, still, you talked about um, the place of um, government policies. You talked about initiatives. You also talked about technology and digital transformation. So how f well uh, would you say SMEs have been able to leverage on technology? And um, uh, is it been adequate? F uh, are they using it enough? Or is there more that can be done to just ensure that um, you know small business is key into this digital transformation era that we are talking about? Yeah. Technology has really done a lot with business owners. Yeah. Mm. But there are some certain issues that they are having with this um, internet um, cost. Okay. The cost is killing. Mm. If you want to get Wi-Fi for your office now, you know how much it costs. Mm. So before you get that, you pay your staff things vis-a-vis. -vis. So you have little interest. Yeah. But with that too, they they don't they don't have any choice than to go into going in using technology mm -hmm. because it's a very very good um, initiative. It helps in keeping records. You keep inventories of your businesses. Mm -hmm. You keep um, cash flow. How you uh, the, how your cash are coming in and going out. Mm -hmm. How you pay your staffs. You, it helps you know how many um, employee you have. Mm -hmm. So if you if, you want to buy a, um, the receipt before. We yeah. do it manually. Okay. But you can do it on your app, maybe mm. your phone or your laptop now, and just send it to your customers. Okay. It, um, it gives the customers good experience. Okay. You can order now in the next 10, 15 minutes. You can order online. Next 10, 15 minutes, you get your goods. Mm. So a lot of advantages Mm. are in technology right now and i think a lot of business owners are tapping into it okay still talking about tapping into resources let's talk about the young people and uh, it is sad to understand that um, nigeria is still grappling with the challenges of um, youth unemployment how can we or how can small businesses actually leverage on um, you know the you know the team in labor force that comes from the young people and um, enhance um, productivity yeah, we have a lot of unemployment. Why um, some business owners have not really go into employing these um, young graduates mm. is because a lot of them are not technology literate. Oh, wow. Yes. Really? They, I thought they were business. I so thought the Gen Z's right now actually internet savvy. Yeah, no, I, I'm talking about the business owners. Okay, okay, they are not the ones that are yes, business because I mean, if, tech if, savvy. Yes, because mm. most of these young graduates, you cannot tell them to come work with you when you are in a, a remote area. Mm. If your office and is not... manual operations. So, a lot of them will not tap into it. Okay. So, if you if you want to employ any Gen Z now, mm. you have to have... A lot of them even want to work from home. Okay. So, you have to have your um, technology intact mm. so that they will be able to tap into it. They will come help you. And if you if you can do that, even if it's loan, you, you get in doing orders. Mm. If the Gen Z come work with you, you you see a lot of changes because they are really, they are good in technology. So right? Gen Zs are the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. You know, because uh, some of them will actually fight me. But let's talk about um, <laughs> common mistakes and uh, uh, solutions. I know that um, just because some people are doing the same thing over time, they expect to get different results. It will never happen. So let's talk about some of these common mistakes uh, that small businesses uh, do tend to make, and uh, let's try to proffer some sort of solution for them a lot of business owner do not plan okay plan they, they don't have plan mm. if you want to start any business mm. there should be a plan it's not that you just get the money and you start okay. there's no how you do it it should never be productive mm. you get a plan okay i want to go into this business what kind of business do i have to go to mm. where which location who yeah. do i want to sell to do i want to sell for the um, low class or the premium class. Mm -hmm. So you have to have all those plans. You have to have a business plan. That is it. Mm. And you have to have a passion for whatever you want to go into. Passion. So the business should be passion driven. Yes. 
Okay. It's not. It's not. You just. So it's not just like on. an all affair because you feel this person is going into the business and is seemingly making a profit. Uh, uh, maybe that's what I should do now because no, no, um, no. there's money in it. So you have to have a passion, you have to have a passion before you get into that business. That okay. So that's aside it. from um, passion and um, aside from what, what you mentioned, planning. So planning. what other main um, uh, issues? Well, we've talked about funding, means, really, but some people, you know, sometimes they get. I, I understand that sometimes some people they get funding, you know, finance with a business, but uh, there's a, a bit of funding mismatch. They tend to get uh, short-term funding for maybe long-term um, issues, and they have issues paying back, or they still force back to planning. Yeah. But then, um, what about packaging? What about some um, promotion? What are the challenges that you know occur in that particular um, aspect? Thank you. See, if you don't have passion for what you are doing, mm. there is no how you grow on it. But if you have passion for it, yeah. you know how to package your product. Okay. You know the type of product you want to go into. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you, you want maybe I want to go into mm. clothing line. Yes. So I'm, maybe I'm a fashion enthusiast. You know, I will know, okay, mm. this this thing is going to be is going to fit you. Yeah. So I'll know how to package it. Mm. I'll get you have to get good hands to work with you. Mm. Then you have to be a good leader mm -hmm. to your employees you, you have to get good hands good, give them enough um, working space mm. then training mm. you have to train your employees okay okay let's talk about um, cultural influence on productivity i um let's um how does um nigeria's entrepreneurial culture affect um, the productivity of smes see these are cultural there is one culture I would like business owner to eradicate. Please, which of it? Yes. Because I want to learn this, too. Um, <laughs> see, you sit down at your shop, mm -hmm. customers will come. Mm. You don't have to do that again. So you have to go get the customer one way or the other. Yes, so mm. that's why we have all these marketers. Okay. You have to go. And, 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 and right now, physical marketing may not just be there. Are several ways you can actually just market, but you just have to do something. You have to do you something. You have to talk to people. Word of mouth. That's exactly. You have to, you know, sell your product yes. online. Yes, advertise. Mm -hmm. Advertisement. Yes. That's, that's the next thing you have okay. to do. You don't just have to sit down in one place that my customer will come. No. Mm -hmm. Then we have to have, we have to erase this mindset of, um, I just, let me just do it. Let me just, okay, for my family to survive. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. You have to start small and go global. You have to go through the ropes. That is it. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's talk uh, as we round up because of time now. Let's talk about the place of collaboration, networking, and um, uh, what are your future predictions for SME's uh, productivity in Nigeria? Let's just uh, iron those I'll, out. I always say this as an expert. Collaboration is the next productivity. Collaboration is the next productivity. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay, there's a hashtag collaboration. It's, it's the next, next productivity. productivity. Yes. Okay. All right. A lot of you see a lot of um, fashion houses now. Mm. They collaborate with people selling all these fashion things. Mm. So they come together. They make clothes. Mm. Yes. All these um, these um, these people that decorators, interior decorators, interior yes. decorators. Mm. They collaborate with people selling all these curtains. All mm. this, they collaborate together. So because no man is an island, you know. So you bring you bring your own knowledge. I mm. bring mine. Mm -hmm. We do cross selling. Okay. Mm. So you bring your own um, mm. customers. Okay. I bring my okay. ideas. More like a vertical integration. Yeah, yes. get it. Okay. So that's why I said collaboration is the next productivity. Mm. If so you, you have to collaborate one way or the other. Okay, because you can't do it all. You, can't you know, do there's it all. like um, a value chain in your business. Uh, you have to identify people who actually add value to you and do business with them. Yes. Mm. Okay, so w w predictions for SME productivity as we round off? A lot of business owners right now have to go for, we have those things that they call KSA, not King Sonny Adi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what if we're going to dance um, to King Fuji, Sonny Adi. Uh, on air today? Knowledge. Okay. Skills. Knowledge, skills. Yeah. And attitude. Knowledge, skill, attitude. KSA, not King Sonny Adi. Yeah. No. Knowledge, skill, skills and attitude. attitude. Okay, attitude. so just break it down. Quickly. Knowledge. Yeah. What knowledge do you have? about the business you want to venture into. Mm -hmm. and what skill do you also have? Yes. Then attitude. Mm. What is your attitude towards your business? Okay. Your attitude towards your employees. Mm -hmm. Your attitude towards your customers. Mm. So you have to work on all that. Okay. If you can do all this. So even speaking of the knowledge, sometimes you have to even work on acquiring the knowledge. Yes. You might not have all the knowledge yourself. You might need to learn. If you, if you are staying on the mainland, mm. the knowledge you have of your of that business will be different okay. from people staying on the, on the island. island. Yes. yes. Okay. If you are in Nigeria, the knowledge mm. of business here is mm. different from the one abroad. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, speaking of skills, for instance, you mentioned um, each, uh, you know a business like uh, uh, interior deco. Nothing stops you from learning how to sew. Yes. Okay. You can. You mm. can go into sewing. You can go into making wigs. Mm. So you you don't. Uh, nobody's an island. Mm, true. So you just have to l have that skill. Just get into the value chain. That is it. Okay. Thank you so much. There's a whole lot to you know to talk when we talk about SME productivity. But then uh, time is never your friend when you're having. But we must say a very big thank you to you thank for you. Uh, the input and the insight that you have brought on the show today. Thank My you. guest has been Abidemi Adeyemoshi. He's a productivity expert. Many thanks once again. Thank you for having me. It is indeed a pleasure. And that's the size of the show for today. Let's do it again next time. My name is Just. Justin Akadonye, many thanks for being there. Bye for now.